hi friends this is a ttk bootstrap window so in this there is a text uh, wizard here we can enter some data and here is a float gates which shows the number of characters entered and the same number also displayed in a label here and let's just try it i am entering welcome to plus two net dot com this correct number of character it is showing at 22 here here it is also 22 it is showing and if i am exceeding 25 then this color of this wizard will turn to green and if i am exceeding 50 then it is goes to yellow zone or warning zone then it if i am crossing 80 then it goes to danger or red zone we'll see how this color changes welcome to plus com. you can now you just see we have crossed 25 so that it has turned green you can learn python programming now you see i crossed 50 so it became if i will remove some characters it will again back to green zone programming language here now i am stick enter is a because i crossed 80 so the color has changed to red now tj <coughs> GUI library of Py. Now it will not allow me to go beyond 100. So it is stopping me. Now even if I will delete it also, it will slowly change return and show me the zone where I am. I am in the yellow zone now. I will further delete it. I can come to green and if I will reduce it below 25, I will come to that blue zone also. We will see how we will develop this. We'll start from this blank template. You can see we have imported our uh, bootstrap here. Then the constants because we'll be using the colors, the style. So all constants. Then the window, the dimension 460 is the width and 300 is the height. So that is the window. You can change it whatever you want. Now here is a label. Actually, this is just your data we are written. That has nothing to do with the program part of it. If you want, you can remove it also. Let's just start with our float gates. So fg equal to now it is ttk dot flood gates now what I, I will write inside this it is my underscore w of course by default it is the my parent window only now boot style initially what boot style i am giving is info here i am using a constant because at line number two i have imported all so that's why i'm i can directly write it as info now what is the mask here the mask is what text will be so we are saying progress progress what is what the value will go inside this bracket and percentage if you hear percentage has no meaning because it is a number of characters or you can just say it uh, 25 n nodes whatever you want okay so this is uh, mask we have written now let's say value initially what value it should start let's it has to start from zero and what should be the length of it length i am giving 400 because you can see at the top it is 460 here the width so 400 is enough so i'll give some pad x uh, and pad y so that's all my flood my flood gaze now i'll place it on a grid fg dot grid now what should be row equal to 2 because above that that label we placed it on row 1 so we are giving row 2 column equal to 1 first one now pad x uh, pad x equal to 2 and pad y uh, equal to 20. Now, sorry, I have missed a, my flood gauge I have written, but above that I have to write my uh, text box because the uh, text box has to be at the row 1. So that I missed. So L1 I have written. Now I will write here I will write first T1 that otherwise it will be confusing T1 is my text box TK or I can write TTK dot text now here it is my pa underscore W now height what should be the height is 4 this is where will be and user will be entering the data width I am just giving it a 47 you can experiment it and uh, change it also so let it be like this now width I have given now let's say I am coming below and placing it on a grid. Now here I am saying t1 dot grid. Now where I am placing it row equal to 1 and column equal to 0 first one column 0 and here what I am doing is I am giving pad x equal to 5 and uh, 
pad x let's me give bit more pad x equal to let's say 10 and <coughs> column span column span i am giving 2 why column span is 2 is because below that within that width below line there will be two wizards will be there one is the our floodgates here it is I have, we have already written and another one will be the label so that label also should be first then because that floodgates will be uh, having column one and that label should be column zero so first i will write it that l1 uh, sorry it will be l2 the label 2 where it will, will be displaying the values so ttk dot label now parent window my underscore w now let's say text equal to zero uh, because initially what it should display no font will not give font here now let me again l2 dot grid row equal to two this is the uh, second row and column equal to zero so it is zero and here you see our flood gauge is column equal to one it is the right of it so column zero now i'll say pad x equal to five and pad y from the top also i am giving a gap of five so equal to sorry pad y equal to five now let's just see how the uh, below that the hour we have placed our flood gauge so let's just run this and see whether the layout is correct or not okay fine you could have increased the width of this also but now nothing will happen because even if i add data also no nothing will change because we are not connected to anything we'll start by binding event to our uh, text wizard so for that we'll see t1 this is our text wizard dot bind what will bind is whenever the key is released so inside that i am saying key release so once a key is pressed and released that time this uh, event will be triggered key release so here it is now what it should happen what it should do it should trigger the function my update now i have not written the function my update i will write it now so that's now i'll come here define the function let me okay let it be here define my update my upd and i will receive the value because it's a event so i'm inside the function inside the function i will write what first let me just because this every time i change the key press event so i'll recalculate the what is the number of characters there so i'll first let me read the string as my string t1 dot get get means starting from the first character or 1.0 this is the first one till the end because end again one line i have to one character i have to remove so i will say end minus one character so now i got the entire read the string i will say it is read the string full string but it may contain some line breaks if user has entered some enter keys then the line breaks will be added that will be counted so what you have to do is to remove the line breaks from that so for that let me just say breaks equal to is a variable only break equal to inside my str i am just calculating how many line breaks are there so it's line break sorry he is this is the line break so count the line breaks fine so i got the breaks now now i'll just remove the total car number numbers equal to this is the variable it will be finally how much what is the length of my string my str at the just above we are calculated minus the what are the breaks are there these are line breaks so this gives me the final final number of cars so this many characters are entered by the user so now i have to do display in two places one is we told you have a label l2 in that l2 here you are declared it the left side of the our flood gauge so there also will display and in the flood gauge will display so for that we'll say l2 dot config so any parameter we can use config and change it so what you will say text the text of that uh, label should reflect that but i'm this car number is a integer it's a number so what happened i have to convert it into string by using str then place the car numbers there so now my l2 will display number as i go on typing this number will be reflected on the left side label now i will do it the same thing for the fg dot configure 
configure now where it will be value now this value is equal to car number because this takes the integer so directly i can use that that's all but i have not done the color changing part let's just see up to this point how this works if we can yeah here it is now this number should reflect welcome to plus two ne dot com you can learn but it is reflecting here you can see it's 39 and this is 39 in those numbers okay yes you are missing but color is not changing that part will do now let's add a s here now okay inside the function now we'll add the uh, our change our can boot style based on the value of uh, what is the present value of the float gauge so we'll say if now fg or our float gauge variable variable now because it's a variable and it's a int variable here so i'll use get method to get the value get this value is less than 25 less than 25 then fg dot configure configure what i will configure boot style boot style equal to info that's what i am configuring okay now that is one is that now what happens if it crosses 25 now i will use elif elif means if my if condition fails if it is exceeds 25 then only elif condition will be checked otherwise it will if it is satisfied then elif will not be checked so for that i am saying elif fg dot variable dot get again if it is less than 50 or this range you can change it based on whatever you want so here in this case again fg dot configure what i will configure i will say again boot style now boot style equal to i will give one more color anyway you can pick up out of these eight colors you anything you want at what range what should i you can just select it here are the eight and because i have imported the constant at the top so i am using directly the name here you can see i have constant i have imported so these are defined inside that so i am directly writing success info danger warning all those i can enter it so this is less than 50 now instead of that i let me just copy this now i'll Paste this now. If it is less than next is eighty. Now what should happen? It is instead of success, I am saying warning. Warning means it is yellow color. Now let me one more, but this time I will. Otherwise, so there is no condition. I will just go for else. So here I am just deleting up to this else means anything else other than that. It is let the boot style be danger. so it is danger means it's a red you again you change the colors or the range whatever you prefer you change it that's all now this is gives me changes the color let me just i saved it let's run now we'll see here it is we are saying welcome to plus to net.com uh, you can now you see it is uh, green now because i will just move to the right you see here based on this range so i if i am removing some characters again it is going back to our info or the blue one welcome to plus to net here you can learn python now you just see it's yellow because i crossed 50 now programming now i'll write tick enter e j G U I. Now I crossed eighty, so it became red. Now library. One more thing I have missed. I have not restricted the number of characters. G U I library of Python. So it will continue like this, and it will be Python lang. go as because it is continuing and it is beyond eighty. Now let's put a restriction on this. So for that, let's close this. Come out. here we'll add one more if condition to stop it at 100 if car number is greater than or equal to 100 then what it should do car number it is it is if uh, car numbers s i missed okay if car number is greater than equal to 100 then what it will do t1 delete 
delete the last character end minus 2c then i will not able to go beyond that so i will just save this now let's run again was the color change welcome to plus two net dot com here you can learn python programming language now tick enter is a g u i library of i am not able to write it moment i write it removing i am it is removing because it's not it, it is not allowing me to go beyond 100 now if i'll keep on deleting the characters then slowly slowly the respective color zone it will show it is coming back because accordingly whatever the if condition is there based on those if conditions it is changing back the colors so that's all friends so this is one of the applications to understand the floodgates so uh, you can just practice it more entire source code anyway you can download i request you please share this with your friends please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it share it with your friends and thank you for watching